joined the Norwich Union to find the most quirky collections that people have stored away in their homes. Well, my quirky collection is dominated by sport. Uh, a lot of pictures from times throughout my career, places I've visited. A few of the players I've played with or against. KPs, Lara, Michael Allerton. I've never won anything before, and I'm very surprised that I've won, won at winners. American Wild West, I like anything. Roy Rogers, Dean Autry, hats, shirts, boots, you name it, I collect it. I wear outfits, belts, buckles, boots. You only get one chance in life, so I do, I do what I want. I entered the competition, and I was quite surprised when I got a phone call to say it won. I've been collecting frogs for about 20 years. Any type of frogs, cups, teapots, anything with a frog or a toad on, I'll collect it. When I found out that I was one of the winners, I was absolutely amazed because I never expected to win. The thing I really like about the Cruets, they're all novelty, pretending to be something else. The 2,115 that I've got means, of course, that there's double that amount of pieces in the house. I wouldn't dream of putting my day-to-day -day condiments into one of my collections. Well, it all began when I was having a clear out of my larder. So I ended up with a whole pile of baked bean tins. I suddenly thought, well, that looks quite colourful, really. How many different types of baked beans must there be in the world? Well, when I won the competition, I felt elated, very pleased to be recognised um, at last as, as officially that I was quirky. My whole collection is contained within this brown envelope here, plain brown envelope. Um, so, of course, it's uh, very precious to me. It's mine, you know. I collect banana labels because it's fun, because you can eat the banana afterwards, and also because I make lots of friends. I've got friends from all over the world that I write to and we trade. I'm going to spend my prize money Believe it or not, there is a banana collector's convention. We're going to go to Munich and I'm going to meet a lot of the collectors that I've traded with. All of us have things in our homes that perhaps we just had one or two to begin with and then suddenly we look and overnight they've grown. Mm -hmm.